Hey, it's Stephanie from Manor Public Library. In honor of National Library Week, I thought I would share with you this craft that we made at one of our adult craft nights that we hold at Manor Public Library. Um, I think we did this one last year, but we have craft nights every month or so. It's always on a Thursday evening at 7 p.m. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make these book page um, paper flowers. I thought this would be a great one oops, to share with you because chances are you already have at home what you need to make this, which is just paper, scissors, and either tacky glue or hot glue. So one of my craft night regulars, Barb, was nice enough to instruct this this project for me, so she volunteered her time and and came to the library and did this project for us. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the paper flowers. I'm going to show you the project that once we are able to open back up again and safely meet that we will be doing. And I'm going to quickly show you some projects we made in the past. If you're interested in more information about our adult craft nights, just drop the library an email. Um, you can email us at mannerpublic.library at comcast.net or send a private message through the um, through Facebook. And I'll be sure to respond back to you and add you to my list. Because what I do is I email out what we'll be doing for craft night to the people on my list and I give them the opportunity to sign up first so a lot of times I don't need to advertise my craft nights any further because they fill up from the people on my list. So for these paper flowers, you're going to need a template. I used an old file folder and I cut out three circles. The largest circle is five inches across. The next size is four and a half. And the last one measures Four. And that just allows you to make the larger and smaller size flowers for your project. The type of paper that works best are old book pages. I had somebody who came to this craft night that used an atlas, which was really cool because then there were different colors through here. So an atlas, old maps, um, printer paper works great. So if you have a favorite song or favorite passage from a book that you want to print. Uh, like this one, there's music notes. So it's a great project because you can really personalize it um, in a lot of different ways. So after you cut out your template, you're going to trace it on whatever type of paper you're going to use. Cardstock is too heavy. So you want to stick to something that's similar to book page weight or printer paper. I simply am using notebook paper for my example here. So trace your circle. Cut your circle out. After you cut out your circle, you're going to cut it into a spiral. And you don't have to be real careful with how you cut this. Just start at the outside edge of your circle and you're going to cut it in a spiral all the way around till you get towards the middle. I'm going to lift this out here so you can see. When you get to the middle you want to leave this sort of um, circle base because the rest of your flower you're going to glue down onto this circle base part here at the end. So after you cut out your spiral you're simply just going to roll the paper up. And I'm going to try to do this one-handed here for you, but you're going to roll the paper as tightly as you can along this inside edge of your spiral all the way till you get to the middle. So you're going to roll it, and then it's going to look something like this. So after you have it all rolled up here, you're going to take either your tacky glue or hot glue. I used hot glue on my project because it sets faster, it dries quicker. So you just put a dot of glue here on the circle base that's at the end of your spiral. 
and then you press the rest of your flower down onto it. And that's all there is to it. So for the wreath, everything came from the dollar store. Um, the wreath, the ribbon, the moss, and the, the pearls all came from the dollar store. So this was a great craft to do with a group of people because it was under $2 a person to do this project. I did ask the people coming um, if any of them had any button tins that they wanted to bring um, and share that, that that looks cute on this project too. So I have some snaps in mine and some buttons along with the pearls that I got from the dollar store. So the wreath was a dollar, the ribbon was a dollar, and you could get two wreaths out of each spool of ribbon. It's burlap ribbon, nine feet by an inch and a half wide. The Spanish moss, we could get four wreaths out of uh, one bag. And then the pearls were a hundred for a buck. So to put it together, I put some hot glue on the underside of the wreath here to hold the ribbon in place and simply wrap the ribbon to about here and glued it underneath. Then I put a bunch of hot glue down here and put down the Spanish moss. Then I glued my paper flowers down and I glued in, I found this um, date due card out of the back of a book that I weeded from the library so I thought it was pretty cool to include that um, little touch there. And then after the flowers are in place, glue your snaps and your pearls. And that's all there is to it. So when we're able to meet again safely, the next project that we have, and Barb put this one together for us as well, and she's gonna come instruct this one for me. We're gonna do felt flowers. And the felt flowers are similar to the paper. You can see these spiral ones, you know, same concept, circle, and you just cut it and then roll it up like the paper ones. So there's some different styles. This one has sort of more of a scalloped edge, peaking shears for that one. So these flowers, uh, we're going to have this craft class to show you how to do these flowers. I'm going to supply everybody with one of these tins. I bought these a while ago, again, at the dollar store. So I already have the tins. We're going to make these flowers like this, and we're going to glue them, hot glue them, onto the tins. Uh, these flowers would be really cute, I think, too, glued to uh, one of those chalkboard signs that are all the rage now that have different sayings on them or a little wooden sign um, from the Dollar Tree. I could see these on barrettes and headbands. So lots of different things you could do with these flowers. So real quick, I'm going to show you some things that we made in the past. We did this um, project a while ago, iris paper folding is what it's called. And I just, I have a bunch of scrapbook paper at the library that's been donated over the years. And we put it to good use making this project. Actually, my kids were in seventh and fifth grade made these samples for me. So this is a project that works well with upper elementary and older. There's some real intricate patterns you can find. Um, you can make some really cute handmade greeting cards out of iris paper folding. And there's lots of patterns and videos online that show you how to do that. We did these material wreaths. For this one, I asked people to bring in three yards of whatever material they wanted to bring. I actually used old shirts and a bed dust ruffle that I have forever that I cut up for this one. Um, I, the library supplied the wire wreath forms, again, from the dollar store. And people brought in three yards of their material. Um, these pumpkins, I was actually off, able to offer that one for free because the wood was donated. And I have so much raffia at my house, it's like a never-ending supply. So I brought that in to use. Um, we had a lot of the ribbon already at the library. I think I just picked up a few um, other patterns and colors so people had, had an option of what kind of ribbon they wanted to put here. And these are wine corks. 
So I brought in corks and told people if they had them to bring them. We did some things for Christmas. So we have a lot of fun at our craft nights. So I encourage you to drop me an email or a Facebook a private message and I can get you some more information and get you added to my list. So thank you for watching and take care. And hopefully we can meet at the library again in person real soon.